Today, on No Wings Wedding, I'll talk about indestructible materials. Well, actually, as my physicist friend would say, there are no such things as indestructible materials given the right force. So the video today, um, you could say, will be about the almost indestructible and not only man-made materials. The story of, um, well, virtually indestructible materials begins not in modern labs, but in the workshops of ancient Roman engineers over two millennia ago. While today's concrete crumbles within decades, Roman structures stand as monuments to engineering genius that has puzzled scientists for generations. Apparently, the secret lies in the recipe perfected by Roman engineer Marcus Vitruvius around 30 BCE, combining volcanic ash, lime, and seawater in ways that create self-reinforcing concrete. What makes Roman concrete extraordinary is its ability to grow stronger with time. When moisture penetrates the structure, it dissolves volcanic ash and triggers chemical reactions that form small crystals resembling modern concrete additives. These crystals naturally de develop after construction, binding the concrete together and particularly strengthening porous areas that typically represent weak points in modern materials. The 2,000-year-old seawalls along the Italian coast remain near indestructible today, testament to this remarkable self-healing capability. This ancient innovation embodies the three fundamental principles that define virtually indestructible materials. Number one, exceptional durability under extreme conditions, self-repair, and sustainable production methods. Roman concrete required lower temperatures to produce than modern cement and utilized locally available volcanic materials, making it both stronger and actually more environmentally friendly than today's concrete. Now, moving from the foundations of Rome to the forges of medieval Damascus, we encounter another legendary material that has captivated both warriors and scientists. Damascus steel represented the pinnacle of metallurgical achievement, creating blades renowned for their ability to remain sharp, resist shattering, and maintain structural integrity under extreme stress. The secret of Damascus steel lay in its unique microstructure. Starting with wood steel from India, craftsmen heated the material to precise temperatures that allowed carbon to distribute evenly throughout the iron matrix. This process created distinctive wavy patterns that weren't merely decorative. They represented a sophisticated arrangement of carbon nanostructures that modern science has only recently began to understand. Research published in 2006 revealed that Damascus steel blades contain carbon nanotubes and nanowires, structures that weren't discovered by modern science until the late 20th century. These nanostructures formed naturally during the ancient forging process, gave Damascus steel its legendary properties, like um, tensile strength of 1070 MPa and yield strength of 740 MPa, superior to many modern hot rolled steels. The loss of Damascus steel production in the 18th century wasn't just the end of a craft. It represented the loss of empirical knowledge about nanoscale engineering that humanity wouldn't recover for centuries. Modern attempts to recreate true Damascus steel have met with limited success, highlighting how ancient craftsmen achieved through intuition and experience what we now struggle to replicate with advanced technology. While humans perfected concrete and steel, nature spent millions of years developing its own virtually indestructible materials. The study of biological 
armor system has revealed engineering principles that surpass human achievements in many respects. Abalone shells, composed primarily of calcium carbonate and normally brittle material, achieve toughness levels that exceed most engineering ceramics. The secret lies in nacreous hierarchical structure. At the nanoscale, thousands of layers of calcium carbonate tiles, each about 10 micrometers across and maybe half a micrometer thick, are bound together by protein adhesives. The brick and mortar arrangement allows the materials to absorb enormous amounts of energy during impact. When a crack begins to propagate, the protein layers allow controlled slipping between tiles, dissipating energy that would otherwise cause catastrophic failure. Scientists at UC San Diego have used this biological blueprint to develop synthetic materials that combine the best aspects of natural armor. By understanding how nature creates strong materials from weak components, researchers have developed composites that maintain structural integrity while providing unprecedented impact resistance. Spider silk represents another biological marvel that continues to challenge material scientists. Dragline silk used by spiders for radial threads of their webs and uh, safety lines possesses a unique combination of strength and toughness that exceeds most synthetic materials. Recent breakthroughs in understanding spider silk production at the molecular level have revealed how proteins undergo precise phase transition from liquid to solid, creating fibers with tensile strength comparable to steel, but with the extensibility of rubber. Now, uh, moving on to the present day man-made stuff. The uh, 21st century has witnessed the emergence of materials that would seem magical to previous generations. The um, uh, recently developed ATSP, the aromatic thermosetting copolyester composite represents a quantum leap in uh, material science. This revolutionary material combines the stability of thermosetting polymers with the workability of thermoplastics while demonstrating self-repair capabilities that rival biological systems. ATSPs uh, remarkable properties stem from its dynamic chemical bonds that allow controlled breaking and reforming under specific conditions. When damaged, the material can be heated to approximately 160 degrees centigrade, triggering molecular level repairs that restore original strength and sometimes even exceed initial performance. In extensive testing, ATSP composites withstood hundreds of damage repair cycles, actually becoming stronger over time. The implication for aerospace and automotive industries are revolutionary. Aircraft components from ATSP could potentially repair themselves during flight or routine maintenance, eliminating the catastrophic failures that have plagued aviation. The frontier of virtually indestructible materials extends beyond improved versions of traditional substances to entirely new categories of engineered matter. Metamaterials, artificially structured materials with properties not found in nature, are redefining what's possible in material design. Negative index metamaterials represent one of the most fascinating developments. These structures manipulate electromagnetic waves in ways that violate conventional physics, causing light to bend backwards and creating possibilities for invisibility, cloaking and uh, super resolution imaging. While still primarily experimental, these materials suggest a future where the optical and mechanical properties of matter can be programmed rather than discovered. Recent research has revealed materials that exhibit negative thermal expansion and negative compressibility, shrinking when heated and expanding when compressed. 
These um, seemingly impossible properties arise from carefully engineered microstructures that amplify counterintuitive behaviors at the atomic level. Such materials could revolutionize applications requiring zero thermal expansion from precision instruments to architectural structures. Graphene, the single atom thick carbon sheet that earned its discoverer Nobel Prize, represents the theoretical limit of material's thinness while maintaining extraordinary strength. At 200 times stronger than steel while being newly transparent and highly conductive, graphene embodies the concept of engineering at the atomic level. However, the uh, practical implementation of uh, graphene has proven challenging, leading researchers to explore alternative two-dimensional materials. Borophene, composed of boron atoms arranged in a hexagonal lattice, offers superior electrical conductivity and mechanical flexibility compared to graphene. Unlike graphene's fixed structure, borophene can adapt to various configurations potentially offering programmable material properties. One of the uh, most promising frontiers in virtually indestructible materials lies at the intersection of biology and engineering. Advances in synthetic biology have enabled the production of spider silk proteins in bacterial hosts, potentially solving the scalability challenges that have limited spider silk applications. Recent breakthroughs have achieved an eight-fold increase in spider silk protein production yields while maintaining the mechanical properties that make natural spider silk so remarkable. These synthetic approaches use genetically engineered bacteria to produce silk proteins that can be processed into fibers with strength to weight ratios exceeding Kevlar. Yes, Kevlar. Bio-based self-healing composites represent another convergence of biological principles and materials engineering. These systems use renewable materials like cellulose and lignin combined with dynamic molecular bonds to create materials that can repair themselves while maintaining environmental sustainability. Then there are amorphous metals, commonly known as metallic glasses which represents a fascinating class of materials that challenge conventional understanding of metallic behavior. Unlike traditional metals with crystalline structures, metallic glasses maintain the random atomic arrangement of liquids, even in solid form. This unique structure eliminates grain boundaries, the weak points where traditional metals typically fail. The result is materials with strength levels approaching theoretical limits while maintaining the you know, processability of uh, plastics. Liquid metal technologies and other companies are developing commercial applications for these materials in aerospace, medical devices and consumer electronics. Recent research at Yale University has revealed new mechanisms of deformation of metallic glasses at the nanoscale suggesting that these materials can undergo shape changes through atomic diffusion rather than traditional mechanical deformation. This discovery opens possibilities for creating metallic components that can change shape without applied stress, potentially revolutionizing adaptive structures and morphing aircraft designs. While metals and uh, ceramics dominate discussion of strong materials, advanced polymers have quietly achieved remarkable performance levels. Ultra-high molecular weight polyethylene possesses the highest impact strength of any thermoplastic while maintaining excellent chemical resistance and self-lubricating properties. Its exceptional properties arise from its extremely long polymer chains typically two to uh, six million molecular units compared to 1,000 to 2,000 for conventional polyethylene. These extended chains create stronger intermolecular interactions and more effective load transfer throughout 
the uh, material structure. The result is a plastic that outperforms steel in wear resistance while weighing significantly less. Now, this um, convergence of these um, uh, diverse approaches from ancient empirical knowledge to cutting-edge nanotechnology suggests an unprecedented revolution in materials capability. Future virtually indestructible materials will likely combine multiple strategies. Bio-inspired hierarchical structures, self-healing capabilities, programmable properties, and atomic level engineering. Smart composites that can sense damage, initiate repairs, and adapt their properties to changing conditions already emerging from research labs. These materials represent a fundamental shift from passive structural elements to active, responsive systems that maintain performance indefinitely. The implications extend far beyond traditional applications. Self-repairing infrastructure could eliminate the need for routine maintenance, dramatically reducing life cycle costs and environmental impact. Adaptive materials could enable aircraft that change shape during flight, optimizing performance for different flight regimes. Medical implants that integrate with biological tissues and repair themselves could uh, revolutionize healthcare. So, from Roman concrete that grows stronger with time to synthetic spider silk that exceeds nature's own performance, humanity's quest for virtually indestructible materials represents our attempt to engineer permanence into an um, impermanent world. Each breakthrough, whether ancient or modern, adds to our understanding of how to create materials that not only survive, but thrive under the most demanding conditions. The materials of tomorrow will be fundamentally different from those of today. They will heal their own wounds, adapt to changing conditions, and potentially last forever. More importantly, they will do so while working in harmony with natural systems rather than against them. And this, this was knowing is winning. Thank you very much for watching.